destroyed some shit while I was here. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Fair enough. Why is there a stretcher here? Well, I guess props. You need a stretcher props. Someone gets hospitalized in the movie. Seems like a cool place, actually. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. I wouldn't, it's Bukowski. Huh. This doesn't pertain to the case. Okay then, if you say so. Nothing there. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Oh. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Yes, there is. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep tent, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Not one from the case. Nothing. Here we go. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? A lot of things, Phelps. A lot of things. More movie prop? More movie prop. Movie prop there. Nothing this way. Where else is everything? Ooh! There we go! And I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler? He's peddling He's dope? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying, uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> I wouldn't know. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. And put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. I want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. That's a lot back in the day. 
A lot. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? Nope. How could Courtney be doing that though? I just thought he was trying to help his friend. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Oh shit. Well, bye bye, Sheldon. Bye bye indeed. Oh, I got that one. That was a good one. That's like a whole shit moment there. So this is where you sprang from. And this is after it's painted. The exact same head. Yeah, that looks way too... not right. That just didn't look right. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. A lot. Up, oh, Mark Baser, Je Jessica Hamilton. What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Okay. Nothing. Oh. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Okay. And that means we're done. So let's go forward, halt. Halt or whatever. What the hell, the hell I was thinking. Hey, up good. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, yay! When Bishop was doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Yeah. I I'm just going to use intuition for the hell of it, because I have lots. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Yeah, uh... The saddle, no... No... The empty canister. I have a drugged-up 15-year-old girl, and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break I guess the drugs it. also work. Good. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yeah, you are. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. For one, you're lying. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was lying, wow. I I can't see this guy telling the truth. Shit. I warn you, Pop Good, if you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it, wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. Shit. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. We got the shrunken heads. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. I'm about done with you and your...
your accusations. I fucked up. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Oh. General advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Nothing we can do. God damn it.